Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to compare these three smartphones, the Techno Common 16 Premier, <laughs> the Poco X3 NFC, and the Redmi Note 9S. A lot of you guys think the Poco X3 NFC will win this comparison. All I can say is you're in for a shock. As always, I'll be comparing the build quality and external features, the display, the cameras, the processor, and the battery life of these three smartphones and pick an overall winner. Now, without further ado, uh, let's just get started. For the build quality, the Techno Common 16 Premier doesn't have cunning Gorilla Glass protection at the front. The Poco X3, NFC, and the Remy Note 9S have cunning Gorilla Glass 5 protection, making them more resistant to scratches and drops. Although I wouldn't advise you to test the durability of these smartphones. Moving to the rear, the Remy Note 9S is the only smartphone on this table that has a glass rear with Corning Gorilla Glass 5 protection, while the other two smartphones have a plastic rear. The Remy Note 9S wins the award for the best looking smartphone with a glass back. The Poco X3 NFC might not look good to some people, but because it has a plastic rear and Corning Gorilla Glass 5 protection at the front, it's the most durable smartphone. As for the Techno Common 16 Premier, it wins the award for the best... um... Let's keep moving. For the external features, all three smartphones come with a dual nano SIM tray and a memory card slot. They all have a power button that acts as a fingerprint scanner. They also come with volume buttons, a USB Type-C port, and a 3.5mm audio jack. The Redmi Note 9S and the Poco X3 NFC have an extra mic at the top for noise cancelling and an IR blaster which I love. The feature that makes the Poco X3 NFC lead the others is the dual stereo speakers and the sound good. The rear of the smartphone also vibrates when you increase the volume, making what you're watching or listening to come alive. So for the build quality and external features, the Poco X3 NFC wins. Moving over to the display, all three smartphones come with an IPS LCD display with a resolution of 1080p. The Techno Common 16 Premier has the bigger display here, but it isn't the brightest. Speaking of the refresh rate, the Redmi Note 9S comes with a 60Hz refresh rate, the Techno Common 16 Premier comes with a 90Hz refresh rate, and the Poco X3 NFC comes with a 120Hz refresh rate. After scrolling on all three smartphones, the 60Hz refresh rate on the Redmi Note 9S is the least attractive. Scrolling on the other two smartphones make the Redmi Note 9S look choppy. Between the Poco X3 NFC with a 120Hz refresh rate and the Techno Common 16 Premier with a 90Hz refresh rate, I can notice a tiny difference between the two displays. The 120Hz refresh rate on the Poco X3 NFC is the one I would definitely pick. What about the quality of the display? Well, all three displays are sharp and clear. The major difference between them is in the brightness level. The Techno Common 16 Premier isn't as bright as the others even though on paper it has more nits. Another thing worth mentioning is the Techno Common 16 Premier has a dual camera cutout which takes up a bit of screen real estate while the others have one. Outdoor usability is also better on the Redmi Note 9S and the Poco X3 NFC as they are brighter. For the display, the Poco X3 NFC with a 120Hz refresh rate wins this category and also for the sound quality with its dual stereo speakers. Performance between these three smartphones is one area you guys are interested in and the result might shock you. The Techno Common 16 Premier comes with a MediaTek Helio G90T processor, the Redmi Note 9S with a Snapdragon 720G processor, and the Poco X3 NFC with a Snapdragon 732G processor. Starting off with a basic speed test, unlocking these three smartphones with a fingerprint scanner, the Techno Common 16 Premier is the fastest. Same if you use the face unlock feature and that's because it doesn't perform any animation when unlocking. For performance, all three processors are fast and capable, you're going to be fine with any of them. But to pick a winner, I ran Antutu Benchmark Test, the Techno Common 16 Premier won that benchmark, I ran Geekbench and the Remi Note 9S came up with the highest single and multi-core scores, I ran 3D Mac and the Techno Common 16 Premier got the highest score, I also ran GFS Benchmark and the Poco X3 NFC got the highest score. Finally, I downscaled the 4K footage to 1080p and the Poco X3 NFC did it the fastest. One thing to note is Xiaomi smartphones have a habit of closing applications in the background to save some battery. The Techno Common 16 Premier with 8GB of RAM retains more apps in the background and it's the best smartphone among these three for multitasking and switching between apps. Hold on, doesn't that make the Common 16 Premier the winner in this category? I guess the Palmer 16 Premier wins in the performance department. 
Moving on to the cameras, the Techno Camon 16 Premier has a 48 megapixel front facing camera and an 8 megapixel wide angle camera, while the Poco X3 NFC has a 20 megapixel front facing camera and the Remy Note 9S has a 16 megapixel front facing camera. Looking at the megapixels count, the Techno Camon 16 Premier should win this category, right? Well, not quite. Pictures on the Remy Note 9S and the Poco X3 NFC look much better in almost all situations. The 8 megapixel wide angle camera on the Techno Camon 16 Premier gets more objects in the frame, and that's supposed to be an advantage, but it lacks details. Bokeh and portrait shots look better on the Poco X3 NFC and on the Remy Note 9S. Hello, guys, so here's a video from the front facing camera of all three smartphones. The Techno Camon 16 Premier can shoot in 4K from the front facing camera, while the Remy Note 9S and the Poco X3 NFC can shoot in 1080p 30 frames per second. Is the 4K on the Techno Camon 16 better than the 1080p on the Remy Note 9S and the Poco X3 NFC? Let me know in the comment section below. Now is the audio level on all three smartphones. Moving on to the rear camera, the 64 megapixel sensor on the Techno Camo 16 Premier is starting to flex its muzzles. Pictures look really nice on the Techno Camo 16 Premier, portrait shots on the other hand don't look that good, and surprisingly, night pictures are way better on the Techno Camo 16 Premier. Okay, so right now we switch to the rear camera. All smartphones are recording in 4K, 30 frames per second. So, which smartphone? It's the best recording in 4K 30 frames per second. Let me know in the comment section below. Okay, so I've switched to 1080p 30 frames per second. Let's test out the image stabilization of all three cameras. So right now I'm judging which one is the most stable out of the three. Let me know in the comment section below. For the cameras, I'll give it to the Poco X3 NFC followed by the Remy Note 9S. For the battery department, the Techno Camo 16 Premier comes with a 4500mAh battery with a 33W fast charger in the box. The Poco X3 NFC comes with a 5160mAh battery with a 33W fast charger, while the Remy Note 9S comes with a 5020mAh battery with a 22.5W fast charger, but it can only take 18W, making it the slowest smartphone on this table when it comes to charging. It takes the Techno Camo 16 Premier 1 hour 9 minutes to charge from 0 to 100%. The Poco X3 NFC with the biggest battery amongst the smartphones charged from 0 to 100 in 1 hour and 5 minutes, while it takes the Remy Note 9S 1 hour and 57 minutes to charge from 0 to 100. For the battery department, the Poco X3 NFC wins. Looking at the price, the Remy Note 9S is the one most people will buy because it is cheaper and it offers good performance. The Techno Camon 16 Premier is a bit on the high side, especially if you look at the battery and the cameras it's packing. While the Poco X3 NFC is the most expensive smartphone, but it offers a slightly bigger battery, better cameras among these three smartphones, dual stereo speakers, and a 120Hz refresh rate. And on that note, the Poco X3 NFC wins this comparison. The problem most people have with this smartphone is the price. At $298 or 130,000 Naira, it's not particularly cheap and calling it a budget smartphone is... Well, it depends on your pocket. Anyways, that's it for this comparison video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do. Thank you for watching till the end. And I will see you guys soon. Voila. Signing out.